A lot of people are looking to cash in on the Super Bowl. Sports betting has become such a huge part of pro football. It's, it's even hard to imagine that years ago there was all this worry about gambling and football and they didn't want to mix the two and now you've got a team in Las Vegas, the Raiders. They've just kind of shelved that whole idea. And this is, by the way, the first Super Bowl here where legalized sports betting in Arizona has come into play. So it's going to be very interesting to watch. Yeah, I think Philly fans, a lot of those fans are kind of familiar with this. But from other states, maybe not so much. So this is going to be a first for them. Fox 10's Justin Lum joins us live from downtown Phoenix with more on how these sports books are getting ready. And, and they've been waiting for this. This is going to be a big moneymaker for them. Yeah, that's right. John Christina sports betting is legal in both Pennsylvania and in Kansas, just not in Missouri. So fans coming from Eagles territory and much of Chiefs territory are familiar with this. An active winter season we had in sports betting now league leading up to arguably the biggest game in sports. Birds and Boston Scott count it 200 to 120 grand. Boom. Jay from Philly is ready to make some money in town for Super Bowl 57 and a wild week of concocting the perfect bet. Especially the fact that it's now legal, you know, I think it makes it a little bit easier. With the golf in there too, you know, um, I'm going to throw the combination of birds, John Rahm in there. You know, local ASU guys, so uh, it's a big week for Philly. Since September of 2021, $7.2 billion have been wagered on sports in our state, according to the Arizona Department of Gaming. For people like Zeke, who moved here from California. Definitely more welcoming in terms of, like, betting, and um, I think it just makes it easier because, like, especially if you're using an app like FanDuel or, you know, like BetMGM. Tonight, the Philadelphia Eagles are favored over the Kansas City Chiefs by one and a half points. The line could change through the week. But what about the hundreds of Super Bowl prop bets to take a chance on? Most NFL betting analyst Dalton Cates takes us down a rabbit like hole. What is the first pass going to be for the Chiefs or the Eagles? Is it going to be a pass? Is it going to be a run? Are they going to have a touchback on the first play? Is Jason Kelsey and Travis Kelsey both going to score a touchdown in the game? Is a kick going to hit the upright? Patrons bet more than $600 million on sports in October and November of 2022. The Department of Gaming expects a boost from tourists out of state. The Super Bowl is definitely an exciting factor here in the state. Definitely going to bring in a lot of out-of-state visitors, and I like to think sports betting is just another attraction for them. Here's advice from the experts. Have fun, but be in control. Set wager limits, and, and uh, you know, it's important to know how much you're going to spend and not go over that. And the seven plus billion dollars in wagers since sports gambling went live has resulted in 31 million dollars in privilege fees as of November 2022. Those privilege fees are AKA the state taxes collected by Arizona. So let's see what action we have in this Super Bowl. Live in downtown Phoenix, Justin Lum, Fox 10 News.